Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you for being here. Um, let, let me just start with a huge frustration of mine, and that is that the it, our ongoing delays in the construction of new clinics in Washington State, it has taken almost nine years, nine years, to get a new CBOC opened on the Kitsap Peninsula. Um, the needs of community have changed, and the VA now expects this facility to be at uh, complete capacity on the day it opens. Um, our veterans have been waiting for years to get this open, and they've heard promise after promise after promise from the VA over these years. Can you personally make sure that this and other facilities are completed right away um, and review the department's performance on this as well? Because we've got to hold people accountable for, for this. Yeah. Yes, Senator. I'm uh, actually headed to Washington State in a couple of weeks um, to look. Um, At the Kitsap Peninsula CBOC? Uh, in particular? But I didn't hear the, the last one. It's up in, in Peninsula. Um, I'll particular? be discussing that with the VIZ and leadership. Okay. Um, and I think that's important because people think of the Southeast as the growth sector for uh, VA, but Washington State and the Pacific Northwest has a very important and I think unmet need. Um, Walla Walla is a continuing issue. Um, and in, actually, Walla Walla was the reason I said at one of the VA conventions that we have to give our directors in the regions more authority to relocate and um, evaluate uh, and Okay, and well change, on, on this one in particular, if you're gonna be out there, I, yeah. I wanna find out what, what you said to them yeah. and, Absolutely. Uh, and to get this done, okay. Um, let me ask you a completely different direction. Six weeks ago, I sent you a letter about my concerns over the reports of a private well-connected individuals known as the Mar-a-Lago crowd um, who are exercising wildly inappropriate influence over the VA. It's, it is entirely unacceptable for the VA to put those people's interests before what is in the best interests of our veterans. I, I believe that's something you agree with. Um, so I, we need to see steps taken to correct that right away. And the department has to be transparent about this. So I wanted to ask when I'd get a response to my letter. Well, I, I didn't know it was in the works, but I'll give you a res my response right now. And um, I, I agree with you about outside influences. Um, I also listen to a lot of people with opinions. A, a lot of those stories took place before I became the secretary. Right, I know. And um, I am committed to making sure that um, I am the sole person responsible to you Okay, are there any VA officials consulting with the Mar-a-Lago crowd now? Not, Have you that, met with not that I know of. I met, I, I met with them once for an hour when I was at Palm Beach the first week I was acting. I've had no uh, connection with them since then. Okay, so the question is, can you assure this committee that there will be no inappropriate interference? Absolutely. Okay, that's important to all of us. And if you can respond to my letter, because yes, I'm sir. looking to the data and records on that as well. Um, let me ask you about homelessness, and I know this is something you care deeply about, and it's a priority for you to end veteran homelessness, <coughs> but I'm really concerned about the VA's focus on this issue because it's fallen off in recent years, um, and we have seen the VA now try to divert funding away from homeless programs. Uh, program providers actually in my home state are losing funding, and despite some of the VA's promises to help target Seattle by surging resources to the area, we're not seeing that come through on the ground. Um, and I was really troubled to learn um, at many of the facilities in Washington, they are failing to actually use the HUD bash <coughs> watchers um, often, and they tell me it's because they don't have enough case managers. Um, so th this has got to change, and I, I wanted to know when we're gonna see the plan and resources in particular to address Seattle's serious needs, and how you're gonna make sure there's enough case managers. Uh, the case managers are part of a larger um, issue that we have in retaining um, those people, uh, particularly in the social work field, um, and that is a target for us when it comes to hiring. Um, I will tell you that um, we, will, we are going to put the word out that we need to make maximum use of those, those HUD vouchers. Uh, I have a meeting coming up with the with Secretary Carson, I believe, in the next week or so. Okay, can you that. get back to me on that? Yeah. Because that is critically important, and I'm deeply concerned <coughs> that they're not being used, and then the report back is that they don't need them. That is not the case. Right. So we need that rectified. And I will just add my concerns about the electronic health records. As you know, my state was the one of the first locations to deploy uh, that with the Department of Defense, and that was a $4 billion investment, and 
Uh, I heard about misdirected referrals, uh, long waits, staffs that couldn't open the programs in a timely manner. There was inadequate training. Uh, there was consideration of taking money out of local budgets to supply the implementation training. Uh, and that was, that was really not done well and lives were really put at risk. Um, so I just want to make sure that the, the problems that DOD are not repeated as you move forward. So uh, we're going to be following this really closely and, and expect to be kept up to date on any challenges that, that you have as this is implemented. Thank you. Thank you.